If you think Earth is big, you're in for a surprise. Because the size of the universe will break your brain. Let's start with something familiar. Earth. It feels massive to us. Planes fly for hours. Mountains scrape the sky. But Earth is just a speck compared to our solar system. The sun is over one million times the volume of Earth. You could fit about 1.3 million Earths inside the sun. Now zoom out again. Our solar system stretches over 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun to Neptune. But even that entire system is just a tiny dot in a much bigger neighborhood. The Milky Way galaxy is home to around 100 to 400 billion stars. Each star could have its own planets, like our sun. That means trillions of possible worlds just in our galaxy. And how big is the Milky Way? About 100,000 light years across. If you could travel at the speed of light, it would still take 100,000 years to cross it. Now, here's the crazy part. The Milky Way is just one galaxy. The observable universe contains about two trillion galaxies. Each of those galaxies has billions or even trillions of stars. We're talking more stars in the universe than grains of sand on Earth. So how far can we actually see? Right now, the observable universe stretches about 93 billion light years across. Why so big? Because the universe has been expanding ever since the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. The light from the farthest galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us. And beyond that, we have no idea what's out there. Is the universe infinite? Maybe. Some scientists believe space could go on forever. Others think it might loop back around like a cosmic donut. But we only see what light has had time to reach us. Beyond that, it's all speculation. So next time you look up at the stars, remember, you're part of a galaxy, in a sea of galaxies, in a universe so big your brain can't hold it all. And we've only just begun to explore it. Want more mind-bending facts like this? Subscribe to Mind Warp Facts and join us as we explore the weirdest corners of our universe.